Hey guys, here you going. Welcome back to uh, another Total Shelf. Oh, Stephen's <laughs> personal. This one's a personal one. Uh, I've, I've, just, I've already done a YouTube video today, uh, so this one will probably be posted at a later date. Uh, <clears throat> the one I posted today was about letting people know that you're okay, letting people know that I'm okay. Uh, came to my, my attention that a few friends of mine decided to ask another friend of mine if I was okay, uh, if I was stable, if I'm um, mental. And I'm all good, I'm all good. So, I'm uh, happy days. Uh, so, this one is, this one's just about, um, you know, asking questions. Ask questions, it's not, you're not crazy if you're asking questions. I mean, I was just talking to a friend of mine, and um, via messenger, and we were just talking about, you know, like, because I noticed that he'd been posting on some uh, one of his Facebook pages. He'd been posting about um, oh, stuff that had been said back in the day by certain certain folk. Um, you know about draconian law and and how uh, humanity will rely on the safety net of whatever the government says and all that sort of stuff. So um, you know, like, so I just wanted to probe in, and I was like, well, what do you think is going on? And, He's like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what I think is going on. It's how I respond is what I got from that. Um, it's not what he said, but that's what I'm going to take away from it and translate into this to this YouTube video, into this this podcast. Um, first time in a while, first time ever I've done a podcast and a and a and a YouTube video at the same time. I'm I'm I'm, I'm one of them people that I just don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, I work things out for myself. I don't expect anybody to be here to film me, I don't expect anyone to be here to, 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 to do the audio, I just, I do it all for me and, um, you know, and I work on it from there, which which kind of really kind of uh, gets to the point of of this this live, or well, not this live, but from this, this audio or YouTube video that you're watching, whether you listen to the podcast or whether you're listening to me via the YouTube channel. Um, the takeaway message was that he it doesn't matter he, he said it's not my circus not my monkeys um, you know and at the end of the day he's just going to adapt and innovate for the best he can for his family and, and evolve around the situation so whether whether if you didn't know here in Tasmania or in Australia you're not allowed to do anything unless it's for exercise um, or go to essential services i.e. pharmacies the, the bank, well, the bank, you don't really need the bank anymore. Everything's online. Everything's um, cash. It's slowly becoming cashless. People, people, if people are, aren't awake to that yet, then they should be awake. Everything's going to become cashless. Um, so unless you need to go to the pharmacy, to the, well, the doctors are even being asked to be called in. Um, two Northwest hospitals are being closed down here. Um, I don't, well, I said there were two, two shut, but... They might have just meant the two in Burnie, the private and the Northwest Regional. I wasn't too, not too sure, but um, so you're only allowed to do certain things, all right. If you're going to go fishing, you can go fishing in your munis municipality. Sorry, sometimes that word gets away from me. In your municipality, so I live in the seven three one zero. I'm addressed in the seven three one zero, so I can technically go fishing anywhere within the seven three one zero municipality. So that's comforting to know that, according to my wife. My wife. It's awesome. So, but what the point of the, 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 the live is, is that he made me realize, and this is why I have this guy as a friend, because he's a, he's a good bloke, but he can also, without without um, demonstratizing me, without being um, harshly critical, um, without being uh, condescending, he can, he can sort of make me open my eyes a little bit wider. I mean, moment my focus on the moment is is I'm too worried about too worried about what's going to happen and, and and the key takeaway from his conversation was let's focus on what we can do to get ready and that way then you, you're done you're dusted so if you need to in my case personally um, personal trainer uh, online is going to be a big key focus for a lot of trainers and not a lot of trainers are going to be able to do that they're not going to be able to adapt to that they're not going to be able to still give their same personality as they do in person uh, as opposed to uh, on the camera some people just can't do that some people haven't, haven't got the ability to be 
to be that to be the, the same person something something about being on a camera changes them something uh, being on a microphone changes them but um, I you know I, I think I, I tend to think that that doesn't change me I think um, the, the feedback has been relatively good since I've started doing my zoom sessions via via zoom you know, which I'm really reluctant to do because I don't really like Zoom because I've been reading about Zoom and I probably shouldn't just read about Zoom. Okay, I read about the encryptions and that sort of stuff. And then I had another friend who played that down for me and made it simple. So the key takeaway uh, out of this video, out of this podcast, um, is that it, at the moment, everything and everyone is going through a lifestyle change. Whether it's, whether you, you feel like it's, uh, uh, whether you feel like it's necessary or you're in the corner that I'm in, I think it's totally unnecessary. That's neither here or there right now. This is not the point of this video. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at with the necessity or uh, whether it's warranted or whether you accept it or, or, or you don't accept it. What, what we can do is the old, aid, the old adage of let's control the things that we can control. So what can I control? I can control my business. I can control the output that I pour into my business. I can control... Um, the output I put into these podcasts, I can control the output I put into these these YouTubes, uh, whether it's my personal YouTube channel like the one you're watching now, or if you jump over on a turtle shell, you just type in turtle shell fitness, that that should come up. Um, so you know it, it's not, the, and it's and it's crazy because you watch if you watch a YouTube video here and then you watch a YouTube video over there, you'd expect to get a different person. Well, I, I'm still the same person. I'm just. I'm over there I'm talking about something that I'm totally passionate about when it comes to health and fitness and when I'm over here I'm talking about things that I that I'm passionate about with with my my whatever I'm talking about whatever it may be with it you know whether it be someone should be picking up their dog shit off my front lawn when their dog shit's on it to to this podcast to this podcast and to this to this video uh, about uh, adapting and that's the the great thing about humans is that we're able to adapt not not, not a lot of humans realize that and a lot of people realise that we can adapt to the situation that we're in. And that's the key takeaway from the, the, the uh, instant messages from my friend. So I was up in the gap, because I'm starting, a, you know, I'm doing things that I've been planning on doing, but I, I hadn't got around to yet, um, because I, I, I don't know why. But I get thrown into this situation where I've got to watch, you know, I've got to be mindful of where I'm going and what I'm doing, and I've got to make sure that it's an essential service that I'm going to get done. Uh, you know, I get put in this situation and now I think, well, hang on a minute, why, why haven't I started the veggie garden? Why haven't I started that? Like, why haven't I put my time into that? Why haven't I, now I'm putting the time into it because I'm in a situation where I feel like, well, I have to stay home and I don't, I, I don't you know, I, I can't venture very far unless I need milk or bread or, or fruit. So let's get the kids out and that's what we've been doing for the last two days. I mean, got the kids out, we've, we've been in the garden, we've been turning the soil, we're getting the back garden ready. Um, the, the plan for the veggie garden has started to has started to grow into something much bigger. Um, the, the idea is to now turn it into a sheltered, um, like a, a hothouse, not really, but like to a point, um, to make it into a, to a, a, a four by four hothouse that we can grow. Um, you know, pumpkins, we can grow carrots, we can grow tomatoes, beans, peas, corn. You know, we can we can basically start start the shift in our household of not relying on having to go to the supermarket if we don't have to for those items. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, we're still going to have to go and get milk, we're still going to have to go and get bread, we're still going to have to go and get meat, we're still going to have to go and get all that stuff that we like to eat, eggs and that sort of stuff. But at least that way that if I focus on building the garden and I focus on keeping my time in the garden uh, and I involve my kids, that while they're on holidays or while they're learning from home for the time being, whether it be the next three months or the next six months or the next 12 months, who knows? Um, I, well, I can focus on teaching the values of life, um, uh, of those, type, those kind of lifestyle skills, those life skills, I can teach them those life skills of, of how to build a veggie garden, um, what you can grow, where you can grow it, how much you can grow, um, you know, take it from, a, from just, a, just a veggie patch idea to, um, my hair's annoying me, I apologise um, for those that are listening to the podcast. Um, 
Mike Wood is annoying me, so. Um, but yeah, so I just, I wanted to get on um, and, and just and just really cut, touch on that. So, uh, and that, and I want to say thank you to my friend. If he listens to the podcast or watches the YouTube video, cheers, buddy. You know who you are. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to have you as a friend. I'm really happy that you're a friend of mine and um, someone I can sort of have a yak to and, and, and sort of get shit off my chest and, and then bounce, it, bounce around with because now you put it into perspective. You know, sometimes it takes a couple of people to put things into perspective for you. Um, so that's it. So worry about what you can control. Worry about the things that you can, you can, you know, lock down and, and the things that you can do. And don't stress about the things you can't control. You can't control the police officer pulling you over and, and tapping you on the shoulder. I mean, it's, it's annoying, yeah, and, and it's frustrating, and it's, and it's, 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 it's encroachment, and it's, and it's not cool. And, and I, I'm not a fan of the idea of it. But if it happens, it happens, and that's something I can't control. What I can control is that I know that I've told the truth. I'm going to the supermarket getting the milk, getting the bread, and I'm coming home. You know, that's it's as good as it can get for now. Um, so, yeah, adapt. Adapt to the situation. If, you, if, if you've been working in a job for the last 10 years and it's been in a factory and you've had this idea, oh, I want to be doing this business and it requires me to do this, this, and this, and I can do it from home, start it now. Start it now. You've got nothing to lose now. There is nothing to lose, ever. But now, more importantly, there is nothing to lose. Nothing. You've probably been laid off work anyway. You're probably bored at home anyway. You're probably you're probably stuck at home wondering what to do and you probably had that idea five, six, seven years ago and you never did it because you, you never had time because you had to go to work for twelve hours a day, five, six days a week. You never you don't know. So what if you what if you put you've got all the time in the world now? Turn off Netflix. Turn off the T V. Sell the T V. You know, sell some stuff that you don't need. Downsize a little bit during this time so that you can you can do what you need to do. Are you going to take if you're an Australian resident? Are you going to take your super out? What are you going to take? What are you going to take that ten grand out for? Are you going to use that ten thousand dollars to start a business? Are you going to do that to uh, to, to make a, a future investment in in yourself? And then that way, then later on down the track, that investment will uh, eventually pay f- pay for you to be retired. Do you know what I mean? So you can you there's lots of lots of things we can take out of this scenario and i think i've been and I, I'm, i'll admit it i think i've been looking at it uh in the negative window a lot a lot but that's because i believe in those things that i've been talking about i believe in freedom and i believe in um the right to be able to go and do what you like when you like and how you like i believe in that that's that's something i firmly believe in but i think um i think i need to focus i need to focus more on on adapting to maybe the next six months of having to just go to the supermarket. I think I might have to just adapt to that, focus on doing what I need to do to get my business rolling online and get my business rolling for personal training and, and get my business rolling for group training via Zoom. So I, I, I'm gonna end on that note. I'm gonna finish the video. Uh, I'm not gonna upload this one. I'll let the, the podcast will be uploaded today. So um, if you hear the podcast, um, before you see the YouTube video, um, I would, um, yeah, love some feedback. You know, feel free to message us, uh, Stephen at turtleshellfitness.com. It's our website, that's our email. Um, it's where all my emails go. Um, we're on we're on social media, we're on Twitter. Um, just Turtle Shell Fitness, you, you'll find us, you'll see my face. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get more and more stuff out there. So, um, whether it just be randomly talking about stuff that's on my mind or whether it be on my YouTube channel for fitness. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the main the main thing that we want to start focusing on now. So uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time each day coming down into the, into the shelter. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I don't know. It's a garage. <laughs> we'll call it by what that is, into the garage where we do our personal training. Um, and, and we'll do our potties from down here and we'll do our YouTube videos from down here. Um, and, and we'll just adapt, okay? We'll, we'll innovate, we'll, we'll try and innovate, we'll spitball ideas with my wife and um, get her business rolling. Because right now it's prime for her. Uh, she's a virtual assistant. So it's really, really, yeah, right now it's very primed up for her to get going um, and, and pick up extra work um, and extra, extra clients. All right. Thanks for watching the YouTube video. 
thanks for watching i mean listening to the podcast um and you know feel free to shoot us an email inbox us twitter us instagram us um snappy chat tiktok all that so um peace out peace and remember where we go one we go all right